Hey everyone, welcome back, Keith Floor 1x5 Games, and today we have the signature spellbook of Chandra. And you may be wondering why the hell I had Ultimate Box Topper in the thumbnail. Well, that's because there's really nothing to this box. It weighs nothing. I mean, I opened up the spellbook from last year, and I want to say it was just, what, seven, eight cards? How many is this? Uh, two, four, six, eight. Oh, and then a, and then a bonus. So even this, yep, there it is, the little pack. You pop that out. Of course, it's glued in with enough glue to hold your vehicle together. The bigger they are, the hotter they burn. That's her comment there. A little quote. All right, so I mean, there's nothing to that. So we're gonna open up a couple of the draft packs from Ultimate Masters. Now, I bought a few of those when they first came out. I bought a bunch of them actually, and I've just been kind of slowly opening them over the years. Not years. <laughs> Has it been years? Shit, it kind of feels like it. Maybe it has. Jeez, I don't even know what year it is anymore. Frickin' 2020. Alright, here we go. We got Rise of Flame. Hold on, I want to see. I have no idea where this uh, secret slot is. We got, oh, it's Right of Flame. Makes sense. Young Pyromancer, so that one's foil. You also receive one random bonus version. And gorgeous premium foil. So that must be the gorgeous premium foil. Young Pyromancer. There we go. There's Rite of Flame. Pyromancer Ascension. Pyroblast. Past in Flames. Fiery Confluence. Cathartic Reunion. Yeah, I remember that one. And then Chandra Torch of Defiance. So there you go. Whoopity do. Two, four, six, eight, and then the bonus. So yeah, I just I love Ultimate Masters. I really do. If I could really just continue opening that for the rest of my life, I probably would. Almost every single card is has some value, which makes it a little bit difficult when sorting. At least most sets you can kind of cut through the commons really quick, you know, they don't mean much. They're not worth a lot. It's just bulk. But not with Ultimate Masters, baby. Let's see. We're trying to tap into Liliana there because I still don't have her in Ultimate Masters that I remember of. I'm pretty positive I still don't have that. So that to me would be pretty much a win-win if I could walk away from Ultimate Masters with Liliana. That would be, like I said, win-win. One and done. Alright, ooh, we got Liliana and Karn. And we will start with the Ugly Boy. That's right, they got the pull tabs here. It's been a while since I opened these. Oh, it's been a hot minute, hasn't it? I actually have a whole nother box to open up. Put this to the side. Alright, and it's backwards. That's right. Zombie. Ooh, we got a foil temporal manipulation. Which is cool because I also have that box topper. And then we have back to basics. With murderous recap, red cap, magma, Golgari charm, fiery temper, or common deranged assistant there we go terramorphic expanse it's actually a nice little common there fume spitter patchwork gnomes godama's reach is another nice one wandering champion arena athlete and the servitor with a unicorn there we go that's an okay pack not horrible the temporal manipulation i think is up to what, about 30 bucks? 
25, 30 bucks. So that's good. Back to basics, I actually don't know. Let's see, let's go with Karn. Got a zombie token again. And then we got Hero of Lena Tower. I have no idea what that is. Seize the day. Another rare I'm not really certain of. Vengeful Rebirth. That's actually a pretty awesome drawing there, Seb. Seb does some really wicked drawings. I really like their... I don't know the, how they identify, but I do love their uh, artwork there. Hero of Lena Tower Normal. Apprentice. Necromancer. And then, of course, we go into Commons. Aether Snipe. Mad Prophet, which is always a good one. Just the Wind. Olivia's Dragoon. Awful Snout. Lars. Shed Weakness. Dark Dabbling. Double Cleave. Nice little Izzy with the Hilliard's Pilgrim. Nightbird's Clutches. Alright, here we go, Liliana. I need a Liliana foil coming out of a Liliana pack. Now I have zero intention of selling the remainder of my Ultimate Masters draft packs. This is just something I picked up specifically for the channel, and I will. I still have, uh, I think, four more to open up. So just over the time, we'll see them here and there. Raid Bombardment Foil, so I, I totally failed there. Ooh, but I did get Flagstones of Procare. That is a land, a rare, and I don't think I have that one. And then we have Mist Veil Plains following right up. Don't think I have that one either. Boneyard Worm with the Flank Sleeter. And then we go right into Stitch Drake. Treasure Crew, that's a good one. Uh, especially Foil Scuzzback Marauders. Twins of the Estate, which they showed back up in... Uh, was it Throne of Eldraine? Defy Gravity. Staunch Hearted Warrior. The Ingot Chewer. Demir Guildmage. Mammoth Umbra. And our final Thermo Alchemist. So not, not really too bad there. Let's go ahead and open up our box topper now. This really would be amazing if it's Liliana. I'm pretty sure back when I bought this, people were figuring out that they could see right through it with a high... Oops, I think I already exposed it. With a high power beam. There we go. Lord of Extinction. Creature Elemental. have no idea. I didn't even know that was a card. <laughs> so there you go. Kind of underwhelming. Uh... Right when I started buying them, I bought the singles online, and it was right about that time that people were figuring out that they could actually take a high intensity light and make out whether or not they had the card that they wanted. God, why is it so difficult to get in there? That's what she said. There we go. So anyways. There it is. I, I honestly wasn't expecting too much. I did get a couple good box toppers, but I'm pretty sure they were all from fresh boxes that I... Ooh. Damn. Same... Same characters here, so let's just go ahead and go with this ugly dude. Zombie. Reverse Death Denied. Oh, it's not reverse. <laughs> I haven't pulling too many Pokemon. Death Denied Foil. There we go. Creeping Tar Pit. That's a really great card to pull. It is a land. I'm pretty sure I got it, but I'm going to put it away anyway. Dawn Charm. Living Lore. Young Pyromancer. Hmm, that looks familiar. With the Terramorphic Expanse. Oh, and the Treasure Cruise. Last Gasp, Spider Umbra, that's not too bad. Consor, Elite Conviction, Reckless Charge, and a Demir 
Guild Mage. That was actually a pretty good pack. Ooh, this one's separate. Oh, that's kind of weird. I can feel it separated inside. I wonder what that means. Maybe I'll get two foils? If I can... Why am I not able to open this? There we go. Oh, I'm an idiot. I can't open it because I forgot there's a pull tab. Duh. Oh, they did a fantastic job. I'll have to keep that in mind. They're trying to make it so you can't steal it right out of the pack, I guess. Well, I say that, but really all Japanese... All of the Japanese uh, printed ones seem to be the same. Merit... Merit Lodge? And back to basics. Foil? With Entomb. Damn it, I'm just not gonna get that... Misfail Plains. I'm not gonna get that Liliana, am I? Got the Thug. Got Anger. Got the Prophet. Arcomancer, Windsteed Rider, Walker of the Grove. Cool Callers, Accomplice, Wild Mongrel. Ooh, Foil. That was a pretty good one back in the day. Tecmos High Priest, Arena Athlete, and Shielding Flax. Alright, final pack, folks. This one feels separated also, but as you can tell, that really didn't mean much. Just kind of, maybe I'll open it correctly this time. Just for you, really. Come on, baby, don't disappoint. Spark Elemental. Oh, Resurrection. It's a beautiful foil. Not the foil I was after. An ancient tomb. That's that's actually pretty nice land. Reviving Vapors. Chainers Edict. Hero of Eros. Stitch Drake. Scuzzback Marauders. Deranged Assistant. Unholy Hunger. Shed the damn weakness like a snake. Crow of Dark Tidings. Looks like a raven to me. Miming Slime. An Angelic Renewal. Now, I've always liked that card. I just like I love it in foil. And Thermo Alchemy. Oh, we got one more. There we go. Vessel of Endless Rest. So there you go, folks. Magic Monday. Uh, it does not... It is not valid for um, Shit Show Saturday. Not that these were shit. I'm just saying. Uh, just keeping mo magic to the Monday slot, if you will. But, uh, yeah. Really appreciate the support. Next week is Mystery Monday. If you don't like mysteries, don't come, I guess. But it's actually a pretty good time. Hold your reservation, or hold your judgment. Reserve your judgment until you've seen it. I, I thought it was a good segment. Until next time, uh, don't forget to subscribe, smash that damn like button that one check out some of my other shit until next time cheers